And next up in line, let's go to Ariana. Are you still there, Ariana? Yes. <laughs> okay, you've heard a lot of arguments. What do you have to say? I mean, it's like Peter's just, he's like, he's so vulnerable, and he always has been, even at the end. Like, even Katniss sees it that it's not Gail who she needs. It's Peter. And she even says it herself with, um, what does it say, is that what she says, that what I need to survive is not Gail's fire kindled with rage and hatred. I have plenty of fire myself. What I need is the dandelion in the spring. She needs Peta. And even she sees that in the end. So at this I still don't understand Team Gail. That's because I'm just too much of Team Peta. <laughs> it's, it's always, it always yeah, yeah. was Team the beginning, it always be... was at the end. Well, you know, like earlier, someone said that people are saying that Gail deserves to be with her, but I mean, doesn't Katniss have a say in that? Doesn't she have a right to want to to need someone back? I mean, is it just because Gail deserves her, she has to be with him even <laughs> though he's not good good for her? I mean, that's not really how it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that argument. You're right. I mean, just because he deserves it. Uh, that would help a lot of people who have suffered from unrequited love over the years when you think about it. It does have to kind of go both ways, as Crystal said. Um, let's go to Luli, who I believe has, has some notes and an entire argument to make, or at least she she tweeted that. I agree with uh, what they were talking about, the need, that Cadmus needs PETA more than Gail. I think it's more a need, like, they complement each other, in a way. Katniss needs that thing that she doesn't have herself, and she finds that in Peta. But I also think that, talking about the allegory, and about how Peta is one side of the rebellion, and Gail is the other, and Katniss needs to choose one side, I think the story couldn't have ended any other way. She couldn't have ended with Gail. The, in the moment where she chooses to shoot coin, I think she made her choice there before then the book ended about Peter because he's, he was that side and she needed that. That's what I think. That's why I think Peter is the one for her. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Luli, and I'm, I'm glad you made an argument. Kim Denny Ryder, representing Connecticut. You're next. <laughs> Well, Savannah's also <laughs> representing Connecticut today, so there's two of us. Um, but my argument for, for PETA is I think that – so Katniss has dealt a very unfortunate hand in life. She, you know, her dad is gone, and she's left to be the person to take care of her family after her mom is, you know, completely depressed and just checked out, and she's responsible for taking care of everybody and making sure that everybody's on track, and, you know, she has to um, – she has to put her name in for the test right all the time. She won't let Prim do it. You know, she takes all these risks for her family. And she's left to be the, the person that has to bear all the weight of everything. And I think PETA uh, l lets her have a more sensitive, like, PETA's so sensitive, he's able to take some of, like, the burden off of her almost. Like, I feel like be, being with PETA is easy, and it allows her to, you know, not have to be the person that's, like with Gail, she always is a hunter. She's always, um, you know, in a more masculine role with him. And she gets to be, you know, in a more sensitive, like look at in the cave. She's taking care of, of Peta in a more sensitive way, you know, making sure that he has food to eat. And then when she's injured and Peta's taking care of her, like she gets to lay back a little, be more in a feminine role with him. And I think it's good for her to be able to be relaxed in a different you know, be able to show a different side of herself. And I think that's why PETA is a better person um, for her to be with. It's the other half of who she she can be that gets to come out. She doesn't have to be the one taking care of everybody. You know, when she's younger and needs bread, PETA gives it to her. She doesn't have to bear the brunt of all the weight of everything in the world. You know what I mean? 